Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And I hope that everyone is having a beautiful day today. We, it is Wednesday. It is hump day. Y'all know what time it is. I just wanted to come on here, man. I got a message for you. For all my entrepreneurs out there, I'm hoping that when you come across this video, this is something that will help you help you guys out. You know, every time I put these videos up, I want to be able to share something that could help shift your mindset and maybe help you do some different things in your business to see success. All right. So we're going to let Facebook do its thing. And then I am going to just give you guys this little information, drop some golden nuggets on you. And then we're going to continue on with our day. So if you're coming on, say what's up. Say how you doing and everything like that. What's up, everybody? What's going on? I see people chiming in. What's up? What's going on? Can't see anybody just yet, but we will start very soon. So just hang tight. Don't go nowhere because you don't want to miss out on this. All right. You don't want to miss out on this. All right. Let's see what we got here. Cool. All right. So we got a few people on. All right. Right around lunchtime. All right. I appreciate y'all. So check it out. So I was sitting here thinking to myself as I'm speaking to my customers and everything so oh, okay we got people out now i see people popping up we got alan what's going on my man mo what's happening what's, alethea is on what's going on let me send some waves out what's up what's up all right check it out so i was um i was sitting here and i was talking with a customer and it really just opened my eyes because they were just like super excited they were like man you know like you're like this was the best experience i've ever had calling into a company right and I was just thinking to myself, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times as entrepreneurs, I don't care what business you're in, uh, what you're doing, if you're working online or whatever the case. Hey, D. Adrian, what's going on? What's going on? Thank you so much for chiming in. So for all my entrepreneurs, I don't care what business you're in, guys. Here's the thing, okay? I, I want you guys to understand something. First impressions in your business is everything. First impressions, okay? Why am I saying that, Okay. The thing is that as entrepreneurs, we put so much pressure on ourselves to get out here and sell and recruit and do all of these different things. And sometimes, man, it causes big headaches, frustrations, anxiety, like all of these different things. And, you know, one of the things that we tend to forget about is the little things. Right. And that's the first impressions and being able to create the experience for the people that we speak with. OK, um, you got to understand something in your business, guys. It take people seven to eight times of seeing information, connecting with you uh, to really start to gain that confidence to join your business. But I see a lot of people that struggle in these areas that when they don't get, when somebody see information or see a video or something like that, I see a lot of people get frustrated when they don't get a person to sign up or come on board or sell them a product or a service, you know, after the first time of them seeing it, okay? And the thing is, guys, is that some will, some won't, some wait, so what? I want y'all to write that down, okay? Because that's going to help to take that pressure off of your mentality when you are approaching your prospects. Here's the thing, guys. You were somebody's prospect before you became an entrepreneur. Before you started understanding this game and making money and doing all of these things, you were somebody's prospect. So remember the time before you got into your business when you were actually looking at opportunities online right and where were you at mentally before you got into that decided to take action you know what did that person say how did they make you feel you know these are things that you want to be able to to really talk about okay these are the things that you really want to think about because that's going to help you as an entrepreneur put yourself in your prospect shoes and remember that you were in their shoes once before. So all the different things that you hear that, you know, I don't have the time. At some point, we felt that way too. You know what I'm saying? When it came to not having enough money, feeling like it was too expensive, we thought that way too, okay? So you can't automatically get into the business and now that your mindset shift, start putting pressure on your prospects to be like, you thinking wrong and you're gonna be broke forever and like all of these different things. You can't do that because you gotta remember you were that person just not long ago, depending on how long you've been, you know, in your business or in this industry as a whole. Right. So the reason why I say that, guys, is that when you are speaking with your prospects, the first impression is the best thing that could happen for you. And that is the like most important moment, because that's what's going to have people pay attention, even if they don't sign up in your business, buy your product or your service you have their attention because of the experience that you created for them. So here it is, guys. Just be yourself. 
be yourself. You don't got to hype things up. You don't got to make things sound good. Connect with your prospects. Get to know them. Make the conversation about them. So instead of when somebody come on board and they want to talk to you and you get on a call and all you're doing is going crazy with all the information or whatever the case, right? You know, ask questions, you know what I'm saying? Talk to them, find out what it is that they're looking for. You know, you got to you got to learn to uh cater that um, you know, cater your conversation. You know, you know that song, right? You remember Destiny Child when like, let me cater to you today and this is your day, right? You got to cater to your prospects. You got to cater to them so that way you can understand what they, what it is that they're looking for. So when it is your turn to talk to them about the opportunity or the solution that you have to help them achieve their goals, now you know what to talk about. All right. But the thing is, just be yourself. Be fearlessly authentic. I'm going to give you guys for an example. One of the ladies that just signed up with me about a week and a half ago, about two weeks ago, she had been following me for a while. She had hit me up for information way back in March. Sent her the information, followed up, never heard nothing back from her. That's cool because I talk to enough people on a day-to-day -day basis. So I share information. Some people hit me back, some don't. That's just part of the business. But she, but because of the connection that we had, it made her start following me. She started following me all over the months. And then one day I had posted a video. I was talking about uh, some things that was happening, you know, with me and my business and, and just the results that I had. And why I was so like I was feeling so blessed, you know, and being, you know, being humble. And guys, she just ended up hitting me up like that very day and was like, I'm ready to I'm ready to join you now. OK. And it was so exciting because I remember sending her that information way back in March. She didn't answer me. She didn't say nothing back. I sent up some follow ups, all of that stuff and never said nothing back. But then months later, because she followed me and she seen that I was consistent and I was still excited and just sharing the information it drove her to to jump on board and we were talking just yesterday and we were going over some stuff and she was like she said like, i am so excited she was like man i say it's crazy that you waited so long she said i know she was like but it was just something about you that made me like pay attention and she's like you was just so real like it was like i felt like i knew you like different things like that and guys if you watch my videos i'm just me this is me on the video if you get on a call with me, this is me. When you see me in person, this is me. I don't change for anybody. And I'm telling you guys that because when you could just be yourself, be comfortable in your own skin, have the confidence to connect with people and talk with them and do that, it changes everything in your business because it makes people want to be there with you. See, when you go out here and you're trying to pressure people and you're trying to talk a good game to get them into your business and all of that, that makes you look like a salesperson. I don't pressure people. I share the information. I show results. I share why I got started and how it has blessed my family. And then once I share that information, then guess what happens? Bam. You know what I'm saying? They, now I got their attention. So every time I come up and I put up a video or I'm sharing some things or whatever the case, they're paying attention until they are ready. But that first impression is what's going to keep them on the hook. Because if you come right out the gates and you're trying to get force people into your business when they're not ready, guess what? You've lost that prospect. And you never know that could have been the one superstar prospect that you've been waiting for in your business. So create that experience. Be yourself. And always remember, guys, some will, some won't, some wait. So what? It doesn't matter. It's part of the business. Not everybody is meant to be in your opportunity. Your product or service is not for everyone. So you're going to have to have to go through all the, some of those no's to get to those yeses. That's just part of the process. But if you do it right the first time, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to start following you. And eventually, guys, they are going to build their confidence through your journey. And they're going to come back and they're going to be ready to get on board. OK, so I'm just sharing that. I'm just sharing that with you guys, because I really wanted to I really wanted to be able to you know, just kind of encourage you guys like, man, just kind of take that pressure off your shoulders, have fun in your business. I see so many entrepreneurs, man, they treat this like they job, man. They treat it like they job, like they just, they they take the fun out of it. And, and when you're not having fun, 
Don't nobody want to join you when you seem like you're just like, oh, come on, just get on. Like all that stuff, man. You just got to be relaxed, have fun, and let people know why they should be joining you. Like your excitement. You know what I'm saying? Share that with people. Let them feel that. Because whether you on a phone or on a video, people can feel that energy. Give them that energy. And watch what happens to your business when you switch that around. I'm telling you. So take that pressure off your shoulders. Just be yourself. Have fun. Connect with your prospects. And create that experience that even if they don't sign up with you, you have to give them a reason to come back when they actually ready. And when they ready, guess what? Now they ready to rock and roll and you got you some quality people coming into your business. All right. So I just wanted to share that with y'all because I was thinking about that after I was talking with my customer here at work and it just sparked that and everything like that. So I just wanted to come share. Hey, John, what's going on? So for all y'all that came on here, I hope you gained value from this. Man, share this video. Man, you probably got some people on your team that's struggling right now that need some that that those words of encouragement. Share this video with them. Excuse me. You may be a new person that's looking to get into the business and you don't know like how this will work. Man, share this video with them because this may be some information that can help get them excited about what's going on. Because this industry, I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's easy once you start to really understand the, the business aspect of it. You feel what I'm saying? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I I, I really just wanted to share that with you and uh <clears throat> come in and, and get you guys fired up. Because, man, listen, we got the last few months of this year, 2020 has been hell for everybody, right? But we can end this year strong. We can come out and we can get ready for 2021 to kick 2021 in the ass and be ready to rock and roll, all right? So that being said, guys, thank you so much. I got to go ahead and take my lunch, do what I do, go chill with my babies because they home here virtually as well as I'm working from home. So I'm going to go kick it with them. But I hope this helps you guys. All right. Love y'all. God bless. We're going to holler at you soon. Peace.